When we call people to Islam, we call it da'wah. Okay. Da yeah. So, for example, do you have any question about Islam? I mean, I'm Catholic. Yeah. And she's confused. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, so, uh, how would you do? You think you could convert us? Uh, no. First of all, Catholic. I think the guidance comes from Allah. I cannot guide you. There's two ways of guidance. One way is the only option I have is to tell you about Islam and explain to you about Islam. But the guidance, the only one who can guide your heart is Allah. I cannot guide you. Even Prophet Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him, when his uncle was about to die, Prophet wanted his uncle to accept Islam. But Allah told him, you cannot guide whomever you want, you please. But only Allah can guide. And his uncle died as a non-Muslim. What did Allah not guide him to become a Muslim? Prophet Muhammad. Oh no, the uncle. No, his uncle died as a non-Muslim. So Islam, all we say Islam, do you, have, do you think anything, do you have any hindrance or obstacles that can stop you accepting Islam? Or do you think anything, do you have any questions? Instead of me giving you lectures about Islam, I think it's best you to ask questions about Islam, then I'll try my best. I'm not knowledgeable, but I'm trying my best. That's fair. I mean, I respect what you do. Yeah. I think from a, as a Catholic, I wouldn't be able to do what, for Catholicism what you're doing for Islam. Yeah. So I can only respect you on that. Um, oh, okay. And what do you believe about Jesus? Jesus? Well, that he's God incarnate. He he's died, God. He died for our salvation. No, do you believe he's God incarnate? Yeah, he's fully God and fully human. Fully human. Okay. Okay, I will ask, what do you believe? I, um, I don't know what I believe. You don't know what you believe? Okay, let me come to that point. In Islam, we believe Jesus is not the son of God and he's not mighty God. We believe Jesus is a prophet, a messenger of God. And he, in Islam, he's one of the top five prophets. In Islam, we believe all humans, when they born, Satan came and touched them, except Jesus and his mother, Mary. Miriam. Mariam, Mary, yes, Mary. But in the Bible it says Jesus was tempted by who? Devil. And in the Quran, and in Islam we believe Jesus was never tempted by the devil. Do you understand now? See the difference? I mean, it depends on what you mean by tempted. Though. No, no, I'm saying, no, devil, the devil, no, I'm saying the devil approached to Jesus. But in Islam we believe the only two people Satan never approached to them when they born, just by the time they born, is Jesus and his mom, Mary, the blessed mother of Jesus. Um, of Jesus. So if we come now, you said Jesus is half, man, half fully God and fully man. So now let me ask you a question. If Jesus, the man, yeah, is fully man and fully God, and he died as what? Pardon? He died as what? As, as a man. Yes? He, he died as God and as man. So he died both. So you believe he died both as God as man. So if you say... Okay, so if you say... infinite sacrifice was needed for humanity's infinite sinfulness. Okay, so now let me ask you. If you say Jesus was fully man and fully God, and he died as fully man and fully God, yeah. that means God died. Do you believe God can die? Do you know what the Bible says? What's God Bible cannot say? die. God is... God cannot die. Do you know I mean, there is mortal and immortal? Is God immortal or mortal? No, is God immortal or mortal? He's immortal. Immortal. Yeah. Okay. It depends on your definition. Okay. Of death, though, so okay. The man certainly died. Okay. So the man died. And the soul was still doing what it was doing. So was God alive when Jesus died? If you say God, Jesus died as fully man and fully God, that means God died. And God of the Bible is immortal. According to 1 Timothy, 2 Timothy and 6.16. Or 1 Timothy, 6.16. It says God is immortal. Yeah. And he lives in an approachable light. So now if Jesus was fully man and fully God, did Jesus the fully man worship Jesus the fully God? Sorry? Did Jesus the fully man worship Jesus the fully God? No, because he was fully God. You said no, because he was, he was fully he was God. He was acting as God, as a man. 
if that kind of makes no, sense. No, I'm asking, Jesus, the man, you said Jesus has two natures, fully man and fully God. So in the Bible, we find many verses, Jesus worshiping. So now I'm asking, if Jesus worshiped in many verses in the Bible. Because, okay, so it's, it all goes down to the Trinity, right? Yeah. So there are three persons in the Trinity. No, I understand and you have that. God the Father and God the Son. I understand Jesus that one. God the Son. No, I understand and that the, one. The Son is different to the Father, yeah. but at the same time, they're both God. No, I understand that one. So my so question. He, so he can kind of worship okay. himself and still be God. So, okay, you tell me any single verse in the Bible where Jesus worshipped himself. I'll accept the challenge. No, accept the challenge. When he's in the, the synagogue debating with the, the teachers, no. that's after worshipping. No. And he's, no. And he's always back about his You're not getting the point. Thank you, brother. Do you like it? No, I don't brother, mind. You. I can well, stay without water. When, when he's in the temple and he's angry at all the vendors that are sending all these things. Do you understand my question first? Sorry? Did you understand my question? Yeah, you're asking when does Jesus worship God? No, I said, did Jesus, the fully man, worship Jesus, the fully God? Because you said Jesus had fully, and full, is fully man and fully God. So let's say this half is Jesus, fully man. So the other half worshipped. So this half, did this, this, did this half of Jesus worship the other half? When he's fully man and I know, fully God, I want he's, to... he's got the son. So it'd be weird for him to worship himself because that would be kind of... Do you know Jesus never said, I worship my, my, myself. Do you want to use your Bible or do you want to use your logic? Which one comes first? Which one do you want? I'm saying that he's worshipping God the Father, who is Thank him. you. Who no, is no, him. No, no, no. Who is him. No, Jesus said, we worship what we know. He said, we worship what we know. We means he included himself and his disciples that they all worship who? God the Father. Did he say we worship God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? Did he say that? Not verbatim. Did he say that? Not verbatim. Okay. I'll Did give Jesus? You that. Not okay. Did he say that? That comes through church tradition and the uh, okay. synthesis of various okay. people. Did he say that? Not verbatim. No. Yes. The answer is no. Okay. So now you show me in the Bible where Jesus worshipped the Holy Spirit. Accept the challenge. So at the first baptism. I no. Mean, no. no at Jesus' baptism, right? You have the three persons of the Trinity together at once. You have Jesus, the God the Son, being baptized. You have God the Father going, this is my son with me. But on did I mention and about have, baptism? And you have the Holy Spirit. Did I mention about baptism? No, sorry, but I've, the thing is, you're asking me, when does Jesus worship the various persons of the Trinity? No, and no, I'm, saying that I'm asking. It's not okay. an explicit worship. Right? Okay, simple, let me ask you. Who's your God? God the Father, the Son, and, and the, the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit, yes? Yeah. Is the God of Jesus, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? They kind of operate as one. No, I'm not asking if they are all one. I'm asking, my God now in Islam is only one, not three in one. No, but they are one. Okay. The three are one. Okay, thank you. So your God is they're, God. They're three, they're, no, no, sorry. You, they're three persons of one, one I understand God. that it's one. Just God. No, okay. I understand that one. You believe God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit all are one God. Yes, that's your God. So what I'm asking is the your... three persons. Yes, three persons, but in one. One God. One God, yes, thank and you. God is one. Okay, thank I mean, you. We can agree that God is one. Alec we can just disagree on so the, what I'm the, asking, the So what I'm asking is the God of Jesus, three persons in one. I mean, based on that definition, kind of yes, but at the same time, no, he is God the Son. No, the God of Jesus is not three in one. It's just one. Shall I give you a verse? Be my guest. Jesus said, I am going to my God and your God. He said, my God. And he said, we all have one father. Who is that father? Is that Jesus? Is that the Holy Spirit? No. It's God the Father. God the Father. So why your God is three persons in one, but the God of Jesus is only one person? Why? Tell me. Who is the way? You or Jesus? Jesus is the way. Okay, if Jesus is the way, why your God is three persons in one, but the God of Jesus is only one person? Not in three persons in one. Why? He is the way to God the Father as God the Son. Okay, if Jesus is the way to God the Father, why your God is three persons? Why your God is not only one God the Father? What, see? What do you mean? So I don't quite see what you're... Okay. Your fellow here said, Jesus, he said his God is three persons. He said his God is three persons in one. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. But the God of Jesus is only one person, God the Father. And he believes Jesus is the way and the truth. If Jesus is the way and the truth, why he has different God than the God of Jesus? Why? I don't think I know enough about. See, the understand now where I'm coming from. I mean, I can see you're raising a valid, valid see? question. Yeah. See, that's why I'm saying Islam 
is more accurate than any other religion. What is the, uh, what is the difference? Are there any differences between the Islamic God and the Christian God? Like, are they the kind of the same idea? It's a genuine question. Yeah, I'll answer. You know, Jewish people, they believe Muslims, Islam is the old path of all prophets. Jews believe Muslims and them, we have same God. Do you believe that? We believe that, but they reject it. Because by rejecting one prophet, a single prophet of God, is rejecting God. Because who sent the prophets? God sent them. So if God sent them and you believe in God, you, they should supposed to accept and believe the prophets of God. Christians, even we believe, do not believe about Jesus. Do you know why? Jesus, Christians rejected Prophet Muhammad and Prophet Jesus. Jews also rejected Prophet Muhammad and Jesus. But Christians, they claim we follow Jesus, but they don't follow Jesus. Do you know why? Because Jesus was not a Christian and he was not a Trinitarian. A Trinitarian person is the one who believes in God to be three persons in one. Did Jesus believe that? Did Jesus worship God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? Did Jesus ever call the Holy Spirit and Jesus the divine nature as God? No. In, entire, in the entire Bible, Jesus only worshipped and believed God the Father to be his God. I mean, no, if, Jesus if you the look at the start of John's Gospel, you yeah. have the Holy Spirit is the word floating over the waters of God's creation. Uh -huh. And that then becomes incarnate as, as flesh. The word became flesh and walked among men. That is yeah. God the Son. Let so me come God, to the God point. The is God so the you say Christians God. and Muslims have different God. Oh, I'm asking. Yeah, do we have different God. Because Christians' God is three persons in one. But Muslims and Jesus, God is one, one only. Oh. So we have same God. Look, we have many prophets in the Old Testament. Prophet Isaiah, Prophet um, David, Prophet Jeremiah, Moses. All of them, they worshipped and believed God to be one, not three persons in one. So who is the way and the truth? Prophets of the Bible or Christians? Definitely we know prophets of the Bible are the way and the truth to God. Not only Jesus is the way, because all pro God sent all prophets to guide us. Yes? Otherwise, there's no point God to send Prophet Moses, Isaiah, Jeremiah, all of them, Zechariah, all of them to guide mankind and to show the way to God. So Christians are the only ones who claim Jesus is the way and the truth and at the same time, they oppose the teaching of Prophet Jesus. Now, we Muslims, we make sense. We say Prophet Muhammad is the final prophet. Peace be upon him. And he was sent by Allah, by God. And we say he practiced Islam. All prophets practice Islam. Also Jesus practiced Islam. That's why we practice Islam. But Christians claim Jesus practiced Judaism and they practice what? Christianity. So my question, if Christians believe Jesus is the way and the truth, why the God of Christians is not one only. Sorry, I just, I just want to pick you up on something there. Yeah. You said that Christians believe that Jesus is the way and the truth. Yes. But that Jesus didn't say that. So no, we believe when, that. When he, when, no, when he said that he was the way and the truth. You know, in Islam, we believe... no one can get to the God the Father okay. through him as okay. the way and the truth. Okay. To God the Father. No, we believe that, but Jesus said that to his people, not to Gentiles. All prophets, was Moses not the way, tell me, to God? Was Moses not the way to God the, to his people? At the time, he was the latest big thing. Yeah. Thank you. No, his time on earth, Moses was the way to, his, to God for his people. He provided the... Okay. Yeah. Isaiah, same. Jeremiah, same. Otherwise, they were, they were all other, yeah, but Jesus all of them, they came them. with one message. That message is what? To worship one God. That's why God of the Bible in Exodus chapter 22, verse 20, God of the Bible said, well, anyone who sacrificed to other than the Lord of Israel should be put to death. What God is that? And Jews now believe, Muslims and us, them, we have same God. So we believe the God of Abraham. Who is the God of Jesus? No, I uh, just answered, he answered that one. You say what? Yeah, he said, huh? God the Father, only God. God okay, the Father, the so now, so Jesus was the way and the truth 
all prophets were the way and the truth. Otherwise, if you just claim Jesus only is the way and the truth, that means Prophet Moses was not the way and the truth, yes? If Moses was not the way and the truth to God, then what's the point of God sending Moses? He was prepping everyone. Yes. So Jesus himself said, after he ascended to the heaven, he said, the spirit of the truth will come and guide you. So Jesus was the way and the truth his time on earth. According to John chapter 16, verse 7, Jesus said what? The advocate will not come. See, this is, okay, I I'll see, come I to that point. When I, yeah. when I came across that reading, it kind, yes. of, it kind of seemed like it was, but I mean, there are, this is where it's very easy to disagree. Because yeah. you would say it'd be the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, would be the next step. Yes. Whereas I could say, oh, it was when Jesus resurrected and then he commanded everyone to go forth and make followers of all nations. Or I could say it was Pentecost. Do you, do, you know, do you know Jesus himself? So do you know, I can give you top 100 reasons Jesus was never crucified, died, and killed according to your own Bible. Shall I give you one, one only single logic? Let me give you, without quoting the Bible now. Do you believe God, always God of the Bible, used to ask sacrifice, to sacrifice, and his people, followers, to sacrifice for him, yes? Yeah, in the Old Testament. Yes? Can God ask his enemies to sacrifice for him? Can he? What do you mean? Can God ask his enemies, the disbelievers, to sacrifice for him? Can he? Did he ever ask? He can, he's God. No. Can God ask his enemies to sacrifice for him? That's what I'm asking. Let's say now, he's, you're, he's let's say, he no, 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 you're not getting the point. In the Bible, we find out God of the Bible always asks his followers, oh, God of the Bible always asks his followers and the believers to sacrifice an animal for him. Okay? To, in order their sins to be forgiven, let's say for the sake of argument, as Christians believe. They believe Jesus came to die for their sins. Okay, As a sort of okay. Sacrifice. if Jesus came to die for their sins, so now my question to you is, why would God, Jesus, hide himself? If he knew that he came to die for your sins, why Jesus was hiding from the Jews and the Roman soldiers? Why? What Tell me. Mean hiding? No, he, he because... His faith. No, no, he was hiding himself. Shall I give you the verse? According to Mark chapter 8, verse 30, yeah. there, are, there are many verses. Jesus was hiding before the crucifixion. So if Jesus well, came, yes, if Jesus came to die for your sins and he knew that God was going to sacrifice him and he knew that God was going to save him after the, after the death, why would Jesus cry louder and beg God to save him when he knew that God was going to save him? And now, because how, this, how? This is the thing, I'll admit, it's, it's complicated. But he was, no, you he, accept it's complicated. When I, say, when I say he was fully human and fully God at the same time, yeah. when he was fully human, no, no. He, still had the, no, he still had the complete human emotions and he, was, he still had complete... No, I understand your point. He wasn't, he wasn't a puppet no, of God. No, I understand your point. No, I understand your point. Let me give you one verse now. According to the Old Testament, God always asked, you know, his people and followers to sacrifice for him. Like if I give you Deuteronomy chapter 12, verse 6, God of Israel asked his people to sacrifice for him. Also, due to, and, and, and what is it called? Psalm chapter 50, verse 14 to 15, God asked his people to sacrifice an animal for him, to sacrifice for him. God also, again, Numbers chapter 28, verse 11, God always asked his people to sacrifice for him. But now Christians are telling us Jesus came to die for your sins. And yet what? Jesus was killed unwillingly. The evidence is God did not, who's, who killed Jesus? His enemies. How can your enemy, how God can God ask his enemies to sacrifice for him? Impossible. Impossible. Because God always asks his enemies to be killed in the Bible. Like if I give you Numbers chapter 31, verse 31 to 40, 41. Again, Deuteronomy chapter 21, verse 10 to 14. And, and, and 1 Samuel chapter 15 verse 3 God always asked his enemies to be killed he never asked in the entire Bible I will accept you to show me to accept that challenge to show me from the Bible where God of the Bible asked his enemies to sacrifice for him so who killed Jesus? okay his enemies yes okay who killed Jesus? okay who killed Jesus? his enemies yes and Jesus was hiding himself. How, if Jesus knew that he came to die for your sins, 
what is the point of Jesus hiding himself from the crucifixion? That's pointless. No, that's pointless. Why would he cry? Assuming, Why? Okay. I mean, this is the thing. You're assuming that God had Jesus as a sort of puppet in the okay. Christian world. Wait, wait, wait. Please, please wait. Please Sorry? Brother, wait. Do you have Bible? Please wait, brother. What? Brother, wait. You have Bible? Brother, wait. Brother, wait. Brother, wait. Brother, wait. Brother, wait. You have Bible? Not here. On your phone? Uh, I can look it up. Okay. If open April 5, 7. Sorry? April. 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 No, that's the one I just said. You, you oh, it, the way Jesus was praying to God. No, no, no. no. Yeah, 5 7. No, that's no. when God saved him. Yes, from Yeah, death. yeah. 5 7. Yeah, Do you have any question? So now, yeah. let's say Jesus came to die for your sins. And he knew that God was going to save him. Yeah. And he knew that he was going to be resurrected by yeah. God. So, what is the point of Jesus praying to God then? That's pointless. If I knew God was going to save me from the death, it's pointless me to cry louder yeah, and raising my voice to God and hiding myself and yet me knowing that I'm going to be alive after the death. It's pointless. Do you understand now? He was hiding himself. So now, even Jesus classed the crucifixion as an evil act. Do you know why? Do you know what Jesus said after the Jews crucified him, according to the according to Christians? The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 23, verse 34. Do you know what Jesus said? He said, God forgive them for what they, they do not know what they are doing, yes? So Jesus classed the crucifixion itself as an evil act. Also, the reason behind the crucifixion was an evil act. Do you know who done it? Judas. What Jesus said about Judas when he betrayed him, he said it would be better if he would never, if he, would, if he, he had not been born yet. Why? Because of betraying him. So you tell me the reason behind the crucifixion is an evil act, according to Matthew chapter 26, verse 24. Behind the crucifixion, the reason behind the crucifixion is an evil act. The crucifixion, the people who done it, Jesus classed the crucifixion as an evil act. Yet Jesus said what? In judgment day, he will ignore because of your evil. So if Jesus died for your sins, why would Jesus ignore you because of your evil? Doesn't make sense. He died for nothing then. And you know what Jesus said? According to the Gospel of Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 to 23, people will come to him in judgment day. He will say, I never knew you. Get away from me. Depart from me. You evil doers. Why? If Jesus died for the sins, why would he ignore them? Because of this evil. That means he died for nothing. And Jesus also, what he said, Father, According to the Gospel of John, chapter 17, verse 4, I think 4, yes, or 5. Do you know what Jesus said? Jesus said, Oh Father, I've glorified you by completing, finishing the task you assigned to me. Which means Jesus said that before the crucifixion. And that means Jesus, you completed the task God assigned to you. So the crucifixion is not what God assigned to Jesus. You understand that? I mean, he, he probably saw the writing on the wall, the fact that he was hanging on the cross. And that he no, saved. even I can give you another verse. Jesus was never put in the grave. He was not in the grave, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. according to the Bible. Really? The Gospel of Luke, chapter 23, verse 43. Jesus said to the one of the men who were also crucified, same time as him, yeah. you know what he said to the one of them? You will be with me today. You will be with me in paradise. Today you will be with me. How can Jesus be in, the, in a tomb at the same time be in the paradise with the man? But I mean, you could argue on the, how literal he was being. And guess what? And guess what? There was no eyewitness who saw Jesus one day put in the, in the tomb. And no eyewitness, no eyewitness when Jesus came out from the tomb. Give me any single one. Any single. I'll accept. Give me. No, who, no, who saw? No, no direct eyewitness, but okay, the thank the you. And guess what? And guess what? Guess what? And you know, the shroud that was there. Is, and guess what? Do you know what Jews believe? All Muslims, Jews, Muslims, and Christians. Do you know what they believe? Their crucifixion took place. But the difference is, Christians believe the guy who was crucified was Jesus, and he died, and he was resurrected. But Jews believe the guy who was crucified was Jesus, but never came back. Yeah, because he was a fraud. Muslims believe the guy who was crucified was not Jesus. Is it another guy who... I'll explain. No, wait. I'll yeah. explain. Muslims believe the guy who was crucified was not Jesus, and the guy who they crucified never came back. Same as Jewish people. We believe the same thing. So now my question to you. 
if Jesus died and he got resurrected by God, do you think Jews, Jews people, Jewish people, would let Jesus go like that? They would hunt him again. Well, they did, they, they hunted no, followers. they would hunt him again. No, they would hunt Jesus again. And guess what? Do you know what it says, Mark? The Gospel of Mark? Yeah, you can't take it. No, you can't take it. So Jesus said what? The Gospel, do you know what Mark, all of them said? Mark, the Gospel of Mark, chapter 14, verse 15. It says, all his disciples departed from him during the crucifixion. So there's no eyewitness. The disciples themselves, they were not there. Guess what? You, I'm asking you now. I'm asking you now. How many days was Jesus in the tomb? You tell me. Choose. Three days. Shall I give you two days, one night? In the Bible. You can tell only Allah has different versions. Okay. Okay. The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28, verse 1. Mark, chapter 24, verse 1. No, Luke, chapter 24, verse 1. Mark, chapter 16, verse 2. John chapter 20 verse 1 it says Jesus was in the grave for two days and one night and the gospel of Matthew chapter 12 verse 40 he was in the grave for three days and three nights so he's lying you say, tell I me say I appreciate your, your knowledge of the Bible yeah Who, so, so now you can I, tell I, I, I so now you can yeah. tell it's just messing up same people and guess what how many versions do you have what do you mean? Bible versions versions oh. yes do you know how many there are many versions well, I mean, of the Bible. Know, the there are, are many versions. versions. Thank you. So now I'm asking, do you believe the versions of the Bible was written by the disciples? Do you believe that? By the, by the sort of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Well, I mean, yeah, who wrote them? You tell me. Choose any. Who wrote I mean, them? It, it, I'm not really a, a okay, I will help you. I will help you with that one. The it's, scholars. It's, no, I will help you with that one. No, I will help you with that one. Yeah, brother. Someone took in mind. Zakhlaq. Brother. No, I'm okay. No, 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 Trust honestly, me. Thank you. O always visit please, us please, first. Please, please, please. Don't worry. So now, okay. Yeah, we have... Okay. So let's say Christians believe the Gospels were written by the disciples. Let's say that for the sake of argument. But there was no eyewitness. Tell me anyone who's seen the disciples. Is there anyone seen disciples? The disciples. Tell me eyewitness. Who is the eyewitness? Okay. You tell me is Mark, John, Luke, Matthew, and Hebrew name. Is Mark, John, Luke, Matthew, and Hebrew name or English name? Oh wait, are you saying sort of? Are you talking about the the actual? Uh, no, the names, the names of Mark, John, Luke, Matthew. I mean, that's that's a, that's a biblical scholarship issue. You see. No, is that an Hebrew name? No, is that an Hebrew name or Aramaic name? Those you are, tell me. Those are trans those are not the direct name. I'm, I'm aware that in Islam everything is preserved in the original. No, no, I'm yeah. just asking. Is that an Hebrew name? No, no the answer is no. So tell me, the, the Mark, John, Mark, John, Luke, Matthew, the real name. What is their surnames? We don't know. I'm not a biblical scholar. No, I'm, I'm no one knows. No, even the biblical scholars, I challenge them. They, no one can tell me any single eyewitness who saw the disciples when they were writing down the Bible. Or who did they give it, they, did they give hand in the four Gospels after they written down? Who did they give it to? We don't know. So now let me come to the point. Oh, sorry. We are, how many versions do you have? How many versions? How many versions? different translations? No, versions. 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 There's, and there's, you mean translations? Like, mean? Let, let me give you. Catholic Bible is 73 books. Yeah, no, it depends on the, it depends Protestant on the, is 66 books. Yeah, so you tell me, book. if the disciples write, wrote it down the four Gospels, and you have 16 Catholic Bible, which is 73 Bible books, and Protestant 66, which versions did the disciple write down? You tell me. I mean, I'm, See? Forgive me for being biased, but I will have to say the Catholic version. See, you are proving yours. Okay, so now I'm asking, do you know 1 John 5, 7? If you open, okay, if you open 1 John 5, 7, only King James Version is available. The others, they removed. Why? If all inspired by God, why do you remove some verses from this version? Why? You can tell, do you know what Paul said? According to Philippians chapter 1 verse 18, you know what he said? He said, he found, he saw some people lying about Jesus. You know what he said? Because what does it matter if people lie about Jesus? He said, yeah, yeah, please. the most important thing, whether from false motives and true, Christ must be preached. Whether from what? False motives and true motives. 
so you can tell the line about Jesus. So now I'm asking last question. That's, okay. Yeah, last question. The... Okay, last question. At what age did Jesus claim divinity? The age of 12? Was Jesus God at the age of 12? What, what do you mean? Are you saying... Was Jesus God at the age of 12? He, he was always God. No, was he God? Did he claim divinity at the age of 12? Just because he didn't explicitly say that he was God. No, he did he claim... When did he claim divinity, according to you? According to you, when did he claim divinity? Broadly in his 30s. 30s? Why not 12? So you tell me Jesus, when he was 12 years old, he was not God. So he became God at the age of 30. You accept that? I'm, no, I'm saying that just because he's not saying that. Logically. I'm not, uh, I'm not Logically. Religious. So now let's talk about Islam. Do you have any question about Islam? I think Feel free to ask. I just want to say I'm impressed by your knowledge. Of yeah. Oh, do you have any other question about Islam? All I'm saying, all I'm saying, Islam, is not what you learn from social media. This Quran, if you read the context, there are some verses talk about Allah talks about during the battles. The context is about the battles. It's not about killing all non-Muslims. Prophet Muhammad had non-Muslim neighbors, and in Islam, Allah told us in chapter 60, verse 8, Allah tells us, if the non-Muslims give us peace, we give them peace. And we treat them justly. Like even during the battle, in chapter 8, verse 61, Allah told us, even during the battle, if they incline peace, peace, we have to give them peace. So there's no single verse, because we know Muslim social media, they use, give Islam bad image. Our purpose is not to kill others. Our purpose is to convey the message of Allah. We want everyone to be saved, as I want to be saved and to go to heaven, and I wish for you the same, I wish for you the same. Islam is not about, I'm better than you. It's about telling you what's better for you. We are not saying, we are all humans, we make mistakes, and we cannot guide anyone. Only Allah can guide you. But what I'm saying is, if you want to study Islam, yeah? You need to study Islam according to its scholars, not all the scholars. Nowadays, everyone claims to be, claim to be scholars, to be scholar. Isn't that comparable to the whole process? Yeah, of yeah. Everyone, cl uh, uh, everyone claims that. So no, as you believe, now we believe Muslims. Every Muslim now, if you go to any Muslim now and ask about Islam, they will tell you God is one, and Prophet Muhammad is the final messenger. Actually, I do have a question. What's yeah. up with the whole Sunni Shia thing? We accept the main ones because Prophet Sallallahu said the main part of Islam is five things. It's establishing and it's in accepting Allah, that there is no God except Allah. And Prophet Muhammad is his final messenger. And Prophet, and also establishing and, and establishing zakat and compulsory charity, giving out compulsory charity. And also fasting, the month of Ramadan. And also, do you know what, what month do you fast in Islam? Sorry? Do you know what month do you fast in Islam? It the ninth month. The ninth month. Do you know what the Bible says? According to Jeremiah chapter 36, verse 9, people used to fast the ninth month of every year. It's Islamic teaching. Even in the Bible, I can give you. Okay, let me carry on to that point. Okay, about establishing, performing Hajj. Shia is just Shia, they reject the companions, majority of the companions of Prophet Muhammad. But we Muslims, Sunnis, we accept all of them. You understand now? They're just being biased. You understand? So, that's not all Shias are way bad. Some of them are not, are very close. Are you Sunni then? I'm Sunni. Sunni is 80, 90 percent. It's 10 percent Shia. I just want to say thank you very much for this one. Even Christianity, we have many sects. But Muslims, now let me give you an example. I'm, I'm, I'm no, sorry, just one last one. Last one. You're very good talk about it, I honestly. Yeah, okay, see you. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. No, and one, one time. We would love you to read, yeah, please. Any verses? If you have doubt about the Quran, ask a proper scholar, yes? Next time? Sorry? Next time? We would love you to accept Islam. Yeah, my pleasure. Your pleasure is my pleasure. If you would accept, that would be, I would be grateful. Thanks anyways. Thanks so much. Bye. Yeah, I know, it's just done.
ما شاء الله. السلام عليكم.